In this video, we're going to go over the James Lange theory of emotion. As you can see in this diagram, this theory starts with a stimulus that produces a physiological change that produces an emotion. A key aspect of this theory is that the physiological change occurs before the emotion. This is important to keep in mind to distinguish this theory from the other theories of emotion that you need to know for the exam. So as an example, you can have a stimulus like a bear jumping out at you that will produce a physiological change, such as an increase in your heart rate that will cause the emotion fear. It's important to note here that the stimulus produces a specific emotion, not just general excitement. General excitement is what you see in very young infants. In very young infants, they're not able to express different specific emotions like happiness, sadness, anger. Instead, they just show signs of general excitement. As they grow up, they are able to produce different facial expressions and gestures that you are then able to distinguish as different specific emotions. But here, James Lange theory is looking specifically at specific emotions and not just general excitement. The James Lange theory of emotion also states that a different set of physiological changes is required to produce each specific emotion. So that means without physiological change, there is no emotion. There are a number of criticisms of this theory. Most of these criticisms are experimental. So, for example, there were scientists that severed the sensory afferent nerves that deliver sensory information to our central nervous system, and they found that these animals could still express emotion. So clearly, you didn't have to have the physiological change in order to produce emotion. Second, many emotions involve the same physiological changes. So when people are angry or when they are afraid, they will have an increase in heart rate. So it's hard to come up with an explanation of how you can have different sets of physiological changes produce different emotions when different emotions seem to have the same physiological changes. And finally, artificially producing physiological changes does not result in emotions. So here, scientists have injected people with epinephrine, which will produce the fight or flight response. This physiological change did not cause people to feel fear or anger or any emotions. So showing that physiological changes alone does not result in emotion. Okay, so that's the James Lynch theory of emotion.